Welcome once again to Coast Q. I'm honored to be here today and thank you for joining me. I've got a really special treat for us uh, this afternoon. Looking forward to putting it on the plate for my family. Uh, bone in turkey breast is actually one of my favorite things to cook uh, at all times during the year. It does not have to be Thanksgiving or Christmas, which is traditional at the time you're going to do such. But uh, I'm going to show you just how flavorful this thing can turn out, especially with the added benefit of being able to use uh, the fat boy sit turkey feature here. This is a uh, an amazing item. It's not that expensive. Um, it helps prop the turkey up. Fits perfect in the Oklahoma Joe's for me right there in the, uh, the second level down from the top. Uh, so it has enough clearance. And of course, you can put your, uh, your your beer juices or whatever it is you like to use to keep the uh, moisture layer inside the uh, turkey. Um, so yeah, you can be really creative with what you put in that. You know, some people put fruit, some people put onions, and a, a mixture of those items. Uh, and some seasonings actually in here, which we'll probably Use a little bit of this and then we'll move on to some of the seasons we're going to use. This is going to be more of a Creole style turkey as far as like the, uh, uh, the outside layer and also with the uh, butter injection. And at the end, I'm going to, well, throughout the process, I'm going to be brushing it with a mixture of some honey, some leftover of this. What I'm not going to inject because I'm not going to put the whole thing because it's only the two breasts and uh, use that as the base throughout the cook. And of course, I'm going to add a little bit of the um, SPG. Know what that is? Salt, pepper, garlic, a little bit of onion powder uh, mixed in there, and, cel and celery uh, salt. So uh, that's a good mixture, perfect for this. Some savories. Don't want to go too heavy because there's enough salt in that to where it can probably over overpower uh, the outer layer of the turkey. But uh, yeah, it's going to be wonderful. And we're going to put together our, our uh, Creole gravy uh, to go along with it to uh, drizzle on top of it uh, on your plate. So uh, yeah, join me. Looking forward to it. All right. Let's go take a look at the bird, how she looks sitting up there. Smoke's rolling, temp steadily climbing. We'll try to get it to hover right between 250 and 275, but that's fine. It actually, the turkey was a little tall because I got a really big one. It was a little tall. So I had to put it on the, uh, the heat shield, which is fine, I've done it before. I thought it would fit a little bit better, but this was a big one, so. Yeah, she's looking good. I'll come back about four o'clock, and uh, we'll get to we'll get to um, place her. All right, let's have a good look at it and see exactly what we're working with. And I think you immediately will see how the skin sort of dries out just enough to where you would want to add some form of baste a couple times throughout the cook. And that's what we are going to do now. All right, so we finished the basting process, at least the first one. We'll do it a few times. You see how it brings the color back to life. And now we're going to thermopin it real quick, get a good read. All right, so we're about an hour, hour and a half in, and we're right at 120. Temperature's kind of fluctuating between 119 and 120. All right, we're going to try to bring it to 165. And we were smoking with, I don't think I mentioned this, uh, two little uh, shivers of uh, maple and sugar maple and two chunks of cherry. Uh, blends really well together and not too abrasive for uh, foul. So let's we'll see how it turns out. Time to get another therm check. We just finished basing it for a second time. Color looks wonderful. Don't want it to get too dark. That's why we're putting the, uh, the Creole butter. Got a little bit of honey mixed in with it. Let's get a good check here. Alrighty, looking good. 136, still climbing. Grill's still running at a nice even temp, right below 250 with the things open now. So it's been between 250 and 275. I'm gonna close that down. All right, go for another hour. So we're going to cut into it right now. Really good looking skin. Really smooth. Wow. Oh, that's going to be a good bite there. Oh, look at that. You see the little pockets of moisture? Mmm. Mmm, the smell too. Wow. It's one thing to hit you with turkey. Uh, there's, you can see all the pool of moisture there from the Injection. Those are some really, really good bites. Now it's closest to the uh, 
to the uh, charcoal and the uh, smoke. So this is 100% done regardless of how that looks. This is always a little bit higher temperature than the, just because obviously we're cooking from the heat up. So yeah, it's gonna be tasty. Let's get it sliced up. Can you believe that much meat come off just the turkey breast bone in? I mean, that is plenty, more than enough for a family of three or four, possibly even five, with leftovers. And that's what we're gonna do. We've got them placed in this container here. I'm gonna do something with them, uh, take a break tomorrow, do a little something different for our Sunday. It is a Saturday. Um, approximate cook time started around 2.30, 3 o'clock, finished up around 6.30, right at 161, let it carry over to 165. Finish, off, finish it off from there. Of course, you see me slice it. And I kind of pulled it like you would pork or, uh, you know, or chicken uh, or beer can chicken. That's what you do it very similarly. And um, I know you've seen probably some videos or seen uh, other people that, that have cooked turkey or specifically turkey breast. They'll slice them because they're just the turkey breast, not the bone in. I didn't separate it. So you can order them like that or you can find a butcher shop or somewhere that actually sells them where you can order them through and where there's no bone just a big fat turkey breast and I'm going to try to find it and do that cook myself to where you can cut it perfectly and actually make you know a beautiful sandwich out of it or something like that uh, uh, just a nice even beautiful uh, cut like you would have you know steaks almost the, the, the perfect look of the cut of the meat so in this case we just pulled it just tore it off cut it where we could and uh, it'll be used uh, with some rice probably on Monday and uh, whatever else we want to do so for 17 bucks, it feeds a lot of people often, you know, for days after the store problem. Uh, that's what it's in, and uh, we'll be for a few days to come. So I hope you uh, found this informative. I'll put some information in the description box and maybe some links to some other channels that have done a similar cook, and you can see how much better they do it than me, and little ideas and tips and tricks that, uh, that they use uh, just to make the food that much better. Hope this helps. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you can. Hit the like button. And if you comment, uh, I know you see me wear these bracelets. All right. It says, uh, God Strong, Ephesians 6.10. If you want one, if you put your address in the comments, I have no problem. I'll mail you one. I got a bunch of them. Love to get the word out. So God bless you guys. Thanks for following along. And uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Coast Cube.